So today we are doing Indian chicken curry. Yum. So we're going to use chicken as our protein. Indian chicken curry typically starts with uh, spices heated in oil. So we're not going to do that today. We're going to put it straight in the crock pot. Um, and then they add tomatoes and typically they use bone-in chicken. We're not. We're going to use uh, boneless, skinless chicken. So we're going to do it a little bit different. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut our chicken up. And here again, we want them in bite-sized pieces. And I would say typically a half a pound. Uh, so uh, this is how I do mine. I slice it, then I turn it, and then I kind of dice it. And it just depends on what size pieces I want. Um, I like mine kind of small, but my husband likes his kind of big. So sometimes they're small, sometimes they're big, sometimes they're medium. Just, you, I mean, this is, you can't make any errors here. Just dice it, just dice it, dice it, dice it. And uh, so this is a, like a breast and a half of white boneless skinless chicken. Um, and I think that'll be plenty when you see the pile of chicken here. Now that's a pretty good pile of chicken right there. So I think that'll be enough. So we're going to add it to our crock pot right now. Put it right here just like that. And let me take this in and clean this. I know a lot of you might ask about this wooden cutting board. And I will tell you, it's my most favorite cutting board. It was a gift. And I just love this cutting board. And a lot of people won't do chicken on wood. Um, however, I do. Then I scrub it. Well, I rinse it, then I scrub it, and then I use a brush with soap and brush it. And I often um, put walnut oil on it to, to preserve it. So, yes, you can use wood. You just have to take a couple extra steps. That's all. So, our recipe today calls for one can of diced, I do petite diced tomatoes. They cook up lovely. They're my favorite. And I don't have to buy the name brand. I buy the off brand. I like to save money. Make sure you always put your lid in there. Throw it away. Okay, next ingredient. I'm gonna add a half a cup of water. Just plain water, nothing fancy. You don't have to do anything fancy, just plain water. Okay, and so now we're gonna start on our spices. This recipe does take a lot of spices, but trust me, it is so worth it. It is so tasty. So the first thing we're gonna start off with, and I'm not sure how you say this, garam masala, maybe? Garam masala? But uh, this is a wonderful, this is a wonderful spice. I like it. I like it a lot. And it calls for, oops, calls for one teaspoon. My one teaspoon won't fit. So I'll do my half a teaspoon and then another half of a teaspoon. Just like that. We'll make it work. Then the next is curry powder. This is my curry powder and it calls for one teaspoon of curry powder. Okay, two spices down, like six to go. <laughs> okay, and then it calls for garlic powder. This is my garlic powder. And it calls for one teaspoon and my teaspoon will fit in this jar. So we go one teaspoon, one teaspoon of garlic powder. Set that aside so we don't get mixed up. Um, one teaspoon of lemon juice, whatever lemon juice you have. This is what I, I have right now. And so you just squeeze it in there and put one teaspoon. A half a teaspoon of turmeric. Now, I know this is a lot of spices, and this is a lot of spices to buy for your house, but uh, we use these in cooking over and over and over. So I think that they're well worth buying. And I don't typically um, count these, the price of these in my uh, price of the recipe, just because these are staple. This is what we typically have in our house, and it's just hard. It's hard to add it. I mean, if I had to guess, I'd probably add a dollar to every recipe. And that would be way overshooting, I believe. But uh, I don't add it in the price, so keep that in mind, okay? And so now we did the turmeric, we need the ginger. Here is my ginger, and we're doing a half a teaspoon of ginger. Half a teaspoon of ginger. Boom. 
dun, dun, dun. I'm already getting excited because this is going to be our dinner. We've had this so many times and tonight is going to be our dinner again. And it's going to be so good. So good, so good. Okay, so we did the ginger. Let's stay focused. Let's do the onion powder. And it calls for a half a teaspoon of onion powder in there just like that. Okay. And then we're at the sea salt. I use sea salt for everything. Um, I think it's better. I think it's better for you, and I like the way my food tastes better. My food never tastes super salty. Um, and I think that's from the sea salt, but I like it. I always use sea salt. All right, the next thing is one fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Let me find my fourth, here's my fourth teaspoon. So one fourth teaspoon cayenne pepper. All right, and then one fourth teaspoon of cumin. We just used this last week on our recipe. Cumin is a, a very versatile, yummy, 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 yummy spice. Okay, so that means we have to be down to the coriander. Coriander is one fourth teaspoon as well. So one fourth teaspoon of coriander. Aren't you getting excited? I mean, this just yum, 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 yum. So we're gonna give this a stir. A lot of spices in there. We really need to make sure we stir those spices up with that chicken. Okay. And I add one diced carrot. Now I will tell you, you can put in one diced potato as well. That's often in this kind of curry. But I'm just gonna do the carrot. I don't need the potato in there because on my in my house, we're gonna serve it over rice. You can serve it over cauliflower, rice, spaghetti squash, quinoa. There's so many things, depending on your diet and what you're doing, that you can serve this over. Or you can eat it alone. It's up to you. It's so good, you can eat it alone. It's yummy. So let's stir up the carrot in there. That just looks beautiful right now. Just beautiful. I just can't wait for dinner. Okay, and then I'm going to put my lid on. This one we're going to cook for five hours on high. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how yummy this is. Okay, look at this. Does this not look yummy? This is your Indian chicken curry. I made a fresh loaf of bread to go with it tonight. And I'm going to take a little taste and then my husband and I will eat together. I'm going to rise. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. That is excellent. Very good. Little little um, onions with it. Perfect meal. Just perfect. I hope you enjoy it. Take care.